People often claim, how can God let this happen in the world? In fact, this argument is so foundational that many experts claim that this is the foundational argument of all atheists. That someone is an atheist because when they look out into the world, or maybe they've experienced for themselves some kind of horrible thing that's happened, they go, how can there be a God? How can there be a God if there's evil out there? And if there's a God, why isn't he judging? Why isn't he bringing these evil people to an end? Whether they're dictators, whether they're murder, whoever these people are, why isn't God bringing judgment on them? So I don't believe there is a God because of all the bad things that bad people do. So the problem is, where is the God of judgment? Let me answer that question for you. The God of judgment actually has, is going to, he's already appeared once and he's going to appear again in the future. So there are great, there are two great judgments upon sin. The first one occurred on the cross where God literally took all of the sins of all the people from Adam till the end of time and placed all the sins on Jesus Christ and judged our sins. Judged Jesus Christ. He became sin for us who knew no sin. The wrath of God. He drank the cup of the wrath of God for all our sins. He, he experienced hell on that cross when the Father turned his back on Jesus and forsook Jesus when they had been one, God the Father and God the Son. And now the, that fellowship is broken, Jesus suffering hell for all of our sins. So all of our sins were, where is a God of judgment? They all fell on Jesus. God judged Jesus for our sins. And so for those of us that have given our heart to Jesus Christ, our sins have been judged in Jesus and, and paid for. Praise the Lord. Now there's another judgment coming in the future for the wicked. For those who refuse to accept God's judgment for salvation with Jesus, there's another judgment coming that's at the end of time. And it has to be at the end of time because you fully don't know the rewards and the punishments that people deserve until you come to the end because of the rippling effect of your life. So for the believers, the judgment comes in the future because as you do good things, you know, you maybe lead people to the Lord and then you go home to heaven, but those people lead people to the Lord and those people lead people to the Lord. And that ripple effect is, is credited to you. You know, for what you've done, building a church, giving to missions, and so to the wicked. The wicked, the judgment has to be at the end of time, before the new heaven and new earth, at the great white throne. Because the wicked, you can't, you, you have to wait out the full judgment through time of the consequences of the sin of wicked people. <laughs> 